I want all of us to arise as we welcome our speaker. Our speaker is one one our sister uh, from our sister churches ni dada kutoka kanisa letu lingine deliverance church kiamombi amen appreciate shangilie and with the dcik crap i want us to put our hearts together and welcome pastor phyllis to come and share with us this afternoon come on appreciate pastor phyllis Talking about money is what she has done for a good part of her life and she is still doing it. Mm -hmm. And we want you to know you are a gift in the house of God. Amen. One more time celebrate our sister. Amen. Thank you. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I hear a shout? You know, ile yenye karibu inaweza tetemesha hii jengo. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I like to praise the Lord. You can have your seats. Sisi Mungu tunaweza kuketi. Uh, I can see I have a short time because I like talking a lot. Uh, I'm Phyllis Jerry Wawile. Anaitwa Phyllis Jerry. Phyllis Jerry Wawile. Wawile. Yeah, you know some of us struggle with Jerry and Wawile, they are wasike. So if you are here and uh, you are a young lady, so come up up and, away and you are wondering whether you can intermarry, I am a testimony that it works. If you are here and you are wondering whether to release your daughter to another tribe, I am here as a testimony. I want to request, uh, I came with some uh, members of our church and my friends. Uh, I will ask them to stand. We will, we will appreciate them to uh, I also came with my two daughters and you will get to know them with time and part of our visit, uh, part of those people who came are two elders of the church I will request the two elders of the church to start again let's appreciate those two Amen. They have been very supportive. Amen. I don't know. Yes. Kiswahili pia si juu sana lakini naogeaga. Amen. <laughs> Bana asfiwe. Leo tuna, but just don't go very far. Eh? Uh, All right. Today we are talking about me and money. Sindio? Tunaogea juu mimi na pesa. Kama uko na mahali ya kuadika inua kitabu yako. I am taking census. Ninaangalia sasa wale wadada wa June agaria yule mtu hana umuzie atalipa sababu ni yeye aliamua kukuja bila kitabu au siwe cha nguvu please if you don't have a book it will not be very nice for you in this session bana asifiwe uh, I will introduce myself. I'm Phyllis. As I have said, I am born again. I love Jesus so much. I met Jesus when I was 15 years of age. Na tulikutana na Yesu nikiwa form 1. Na watu wakasema ni umono, lakini umono. I have been now married for the last 25 years. Lakini umono. Uyo, that salvation has brought me this far. Kwa hivyo na mpeda mungu sana. Niliokoka nikiwa msichana mdo mimi huwa nasema sijui maisha igine na jua tu maisha dani ya Yesu kwa sababu buwana amekua muema praise the lord so uh, 
I, I have remembered when I, I think it was Friday or Thursday when I remembered ya kwamba around 204 or 205 nilikuja mahali hapa tukiwa in the other sanctuary na nitukaogea na wadada juu ya pesa Bwana asifiwe na mimi wakati tulikuwa tunanenea uh, when i was speaking to the ladies the lord also spoke to me Bwana asifiwe so it is not only the ladies who are bless, being blessed tonight even me i am expecting a blessing from the lord uh, because the word of god is life and when that word is spoken it has to fulfill a certain purpose I know you have heard about money and you are willing to hear more my prayer this afternoon is that the word of God will be so little to you because the Bible says it is the Lord who make us to profit there is a difference when you do business as a Christian and when you do business when you are not a Christian. Because when you are a Christian, you hear the voice of the Lord telling you, buy this one and not this one. And when you take it to the shop, you find someone to buy. And they don't buy what you left. I have seen the Lord to be so in business. Who are you? That is the first question. And before you tell me who you are, I want to give a testimony. In 205, 206, when I came here, and I stood on this altar I read the Proverbs 31 verse 10 nisoma methali 31 methali 31 na moja mstari wa kumi lakini mstari wa kumi na sita si munajua yule mama wa busala hapo diyo tulikuwa tunasoma na diyo tulikuwa tunajifudnisha na uyo mama kuhusu pesa ile njabu wabayo nilisema niliabia wa dada wakati huo ya kwamba uyo dada they consider a plot and they buy. Wakati huo mimi sikuwa, mimi na mume wangu watukuwa na plot. Ile mungu waliweka dani yangu ni kuwa sio lazima dada anunue kitu. Lakini dada die anabeba maono. Kama vile ukikonceive mtoto ni mama anabebaga mtoto kwa, kwa tubu lake. Sini kweli. Unashika miba na unaibeba mpaka mwisho. Nae kama jamii wewe diyo pia unabeba maono ya jamii me yako. Na wakati huo ni kakubali na that day something was born in me and I started trusting the Lord that one day we will stay in our place. Bwana asifiwe. And my daughter this morning was showing me zile the visions, eh? Some of the things I will tell you to do. I did it in 203, 204 na mungu wa meweza kutimisa hayo maono. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo yale mambo tunaogea hapa ni meaona mungu wa kia Ateda. Praise the Lord. So as mom have said, I we pastor with Pastor Wazitsike in Deliverance Church, Kiamombi. Sure. And uh, Pastor Wazitsike. Tumebalikiwa na watoto watatu. Hawa sijana wawiri mumeona na kijana mmoja. Na tunashukuru mungu. Bwana asifiwe. What else do you need to know about me? Uh, nimekwambia mimi ni na mpeda Yesu. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm a mother, I have said so, so I am a wife, and besides being a wife, I am a pastor's wife and a minister also. Bwana asifiwe. Si, ni vizuri munijue vizuri. I am a daughter-in-law. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, and I'm, I have siblings, and I have my parents, and also I have been a banker for a long time, 25 years. Ni wakati mfupi? Si wakati mfupi. Uh, and now I do business. Sasa nafanya biashara. Uh, nafanya biashara. Kuna wakulima hapa? We ni mkulima unakuku ngobe, mbwa. Kwa nini munacheka? <laughs> Major customers ni customer wa mbwa. Eh, wagapi wa, 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 wa
Eh, I do animal feeds. Bona asifiwe. Eh, that's what I do. I also do consultancy. I learn a, a consultancy farm called Wefi Ventures Consultancy. Na ninampeda bwana. Bona asifiwe. Nimeona mungu akinisaidia kufanya mabomengi. Nimeji introduce hivyo kwa sababu tunapo ederea. Tutaguza hao maboyote. I will be also be, I'm willing to share my life with you. Some of the mistakes I have made, don't make them. Some of the things I did not know, I will let you know. Uh, Pastor Medicent, we knew one another with Pastor Medicent when we were little girls. Eh? So I'm very happy that there is someone here who can give a testimony of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, let's come back to the topic. Topic. Me and money. Who are you? Wewe nani? Who are you? Wewe ni nani? I want you to on your notebook write your names. Nataka kuonye kitabu chako Tell me whether lako. you are born again or not. Sema kama umeokoka au la. Eh, na wadike vizuri. Who are you? Wewe ni nani? Are you saved? Are you not saved? Mepoka, Which ministry do you serve? Si tunataka kujijua sisi wenyewe. Because we have said it is me and money. Yes, so who are you? Wewe ni nani? Nigetaka jirani yako pia kujue. Marito status, are you married? We do doll. Ha, ha, uh, 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 where are you? Uh, occupation, what do you do for a living? Unafanya nini? Eh, unafanyanga kazi gani? Unapo amuka asubui mpaka jioni, what do you do? Unafanya nini? Are you in business? Nye biashara? Are you employed? Meajiriwa? Uh, are you a house worker? Or you, you work within your house? Na, Some of us have taken nyubani? leave and have decided to consciously not to engage in any uh, uh, in any activity outside the home, tunataka kurea wato, siyo pia ni kazi. Amen. So I could be a housewife. Eza kuwa, nakatukwa na, 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 nyuma. Are you a parent? Wewe ni mama, mfra, ni mama fulani, wewe ni mzazi, ama wewe ni mtoto wa mtu. Unaeza kuwa pia mtoto na pia wewe ni, uh, ni mzazi. Kwa sababu ninajua hapa pia tuko na watu wa uh, about tuko shule. Hatujaolewa tuko bado kwa wazazi wetu. Ama tuko peke yetu tuna uh, tunajichunga sisi wenyewe. Are you a daughter in law? Ulisa jirani yako, are you a daughter in law? Dada mkwe. Ola sine, eh? Eh, hey, is there someone eh? Uh, we say mother in love, eh? Mm. So all those things is good. Umemaliza kujiri tanguri sasa. Show you a friend. Introduce yourself now to your neighbor. I give you a minute to introduce yourself to your neighbor. Kati ya dakika moja ujitangulishe kwa jirani yako. Tafuta jirani. Tafuta. Okay. Naona kama wengine wamejijurisha, wengine hawakuwa na mtu yeyote wa kuwabia hiyo story yao. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Lakini ni vizuri kwanza kujielewa yeye wewe mwenye mwenyewe. Then the next question I want to ask you. Swali lingine nataka kuuliza. Oh, those credentials you have written about yourself. How does money relate to you? Uh, 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 how do you relate with money? In the ministry, is money applicable? As a nasha, do you need money? As a member of this ladies fellowship, do you need money? Uh -huh. Kama mshiriki wa ladies network. As a Christian, do you need money? Kama mkristo unaitaji pesa. When you are married, do you need money? Kioleka unaitaji pesa. Ya nini? If you are not married, do you need money? Kama hujaoleka. So my question is one. Swali so langu ni moja. Your personal identity. Kule kujitambulisha kwako kibinafsi. How is it related to money? Na usiana aje na pesa. 
um, I brought all your siblings. I brought all the people who may be depending on you. Wale watu ambao wale watu wote ambao wanaweza kuwa wanakutegemea, si ndio? Ama wewe unategemea hawa watu wote si umewaandika hapo mna uhusiano mgani na pe? na pesa. Then what is money? Si tumesema mien money. Pesa ni nini? What is money? Sijui kama niko nazis do. If you have money, toa kwa kibeti saa hii sio kulinga. <laughs> toa pesa ile uko nayo. Hmm? Kama mimi niko na kama hii bado sijabadilisha. <laughs> you have money. Si utoe. Nimekuruhusu kwa kanisa haturuhusiwi ku kukaa tukibeberusha pesa na mai lakini mwingine pengine alikopo akasema hana ndio anakopa kwa eh? peperusha utakopa mtu atakwambia nisaidie see you have money is money good is money good i pray that by the end of this time we will know how we can get more pesa nyingi. So pesa ni pesa. It's a current uh, uh, medium of exchange in form of bank notes. Either ni makaratasi ya bank ama ni ni coins. That is what we are talking about. Si ndio? Hizo ndizo tunaongelea. Na hiyo ndio tunaweza it allows us to obtain what we want. Inatuwezesha kupata tunachohitaji. Money is good because it allows us to get what we Pesa ni nzuri sababu inatusaidia kupata tunachohitaji. Bana asifiwe Na, in this life katika maisha haya now according to john 3 kulingana na yona 3 the third uh, book of john first 2 yona 3 mstari wa pili this is what the bible says beloved i pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers that is our guiding force beloved sister seated in zimmerman i pray that you may prosper in all things and be in good health just as your soul prospers matthew 6:33 the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and no things shall be added unto you bwana asifiwe tutafute uso wa uh, uh, ufalme wa mungu na utakatifu wake na mambo yote Ita, the word there is all Mm. Zote. Na hiyo ya kwanza ni kuwaombea wote abapo tunapoenea kwa maboigine tuenee kwa maboyote even our prosperity bwana asifiwe mm. the other verse that you can put your figure there it is John 1 and verse 3 Yona bwa kwanza uh, 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 John chapter 1 verse 3 that is the gospel mm. Then Hebrews 1 first 2 wa Hebrewa 1 moja 2 Then we will also go to Deuteronomy 8 18 my favorite verse kubu kubu la Torah as far as money is concerned and it tells me that it is God who give us power to do what inasema ni Mungu anatuwezesha kupata mali Then we will conclude with Haggai 2 verse 8. Haggai 2:8 and Psalms 50 verse 10. Zaburi 50 mstari wa 10. Those are the scriptures we will be looking at. Ndio maandiko tutaangazia. Now I want to ask you. Nataka niwaulize. Currently how much money do you have? Hey, una pesa ngapi kwa sasa? How much money do you? Una pesa ngapi sasa? What are your sources of income? Aha, pesa zako unazitoa wapi? So, I'm so sorry this is a in in class ma'am ndio hii tunataka na mimi nawaambia ya kwamba tunapoendelea unapofikiria nilisikia kuheshimika sana ya kwamba nimekuja kuhudumu kwa kanisa ya pastor Alice I feel so honored 
mulipo weka hiyo kitu tukawekwa na wewe nilisikia vizuri si ni vizuri kusema nilisikia vizuri nilisikia kuheshimika sio kawaida kukaa na mke wa bishop si ndio na leo tumekaa na yeye bwana asifiwe i don't know how you take the servants of god but i honor those who are ahead of me and for me is such a privilege to be given an order in the bishop's house and mean in the bishop's church i don't take it for granted i honor god thank you alice for believing in me may the lord help us bwana asifiwe honor the servants of god in the house and we are so blessed to have our bishop here unajua ni the main the, the, the apostolic uh, team they are only seven bwana asifiwe and you are so blessed to be sitting under kiwa eh, kuna baraka zingine sinaamuri wangu hapa kwa sababu ya sehemu ile mnakaa sisi hatuna hiyo kia mobi bwana asifiwe hatuna hiyo kia mobi kuna anointing nyingine tu inakuaga hapa yaani vile mnakaa ni kama hamjaelewa pengine mkieda pengine mtajua bwana asifiwe let's appreciate mama alice na tumshangilie thank you so nikiogea hivi uliandika your sources of income Adika, adika si tulisema hukuwe na kitambu. So a subtitle my sources of money or my sources of income. Adika zile vitu zote sinakuleteaga pesa. Hata kama we ni student si kuna ku pocket money. Si kuna kuhaso hapa na pale. What gives you money? Nini kinakupatia pesa? So if you have house rent, kama uko na nyumba ambazo unalipisha, like ni mkulima. Mm. Pegine umeuza gurue kama mimi nakusa pia gurue na kuku na mayai. Mm. Bwana asifiwe. Mm. So uh, adika your sources of income. Umemaliza? Kwa nini they are very few? We are here so that we can have more. Sawa sawa. Kwa hapa ndio tukapate zaidi. It could be from salary business, pocket money, sawa eh, kutoka mshahara, biashara. Mm pegine ni ile tunapewa na mume wako your parent pegine you are pe, kuna pension unapewa kuna ka investment umeweka mahali you get return on investment mm. or donations si kuna mambo mengi so have you written all of them okay mm. add mm. all mm. that is your income per month <laughs> ha hiyo ndio pesa ambayo mshahara yako kwa kila mwezi umemaliza hapo will be very systematic number two, let's go now to our expenses let's see which list is longer to own a list ikologa kuliko gani what are some of your expenses matumizi yako ni kama yapi see tie this number one i hope tie this number one eh tie this number one number two pegine house rent number 3 utility bills number 4 telephone airtime dstv nalipiwa internet internet nalipiwa mm. how much do you spend on a day on bado si tunaandika per month mm. eh umesubscribe gapi umejisajili eh? kwa yapi Or how much are you paying on loans your installments of loans per month that's another expense loan unalipa ngapi kwa mwezi chama si mama wako na chama ile pesa unaperekanga huko is it an expense yes una ni pesa ambayo unalipa school fees nyingine karo ya shule ni zingine all your expenses are they down umeziandika Have you written yeah. how much per month? Pesa ngapi Put the mwezi. total also. Jumlishe zote pamoja. Leo tunataka kuwa wa own personal accountants. Si unajua wanatuambia ngapi NL tunastuka profit and loss statement. Sasa tunashtuka. Leo tunataka kufanya ye yetu. So, relate then your income and your expenditures. What, which side is higher? Angalia ni upande upi una pesa nyingi wa matumizi Nigan, ama ya mapato. Which side is higher? Pande upi uko na nyingi? Which side? Pande upi. Expenses. Expenses. What is the deficit? 
deficit ni tofauti, tofauti ni ipi ya ile income umepata na ile matumizi tell me what is your deficit have you seen there is a difference tofauti ni gani umeona kuna tofauti and i hope in your expenditure also saving is you can put for us expenditure again i hope in your uh, expenditure is one of them I the saving is one of your expenditure. You save some money. Transport. Si tumepewa ushuda na dada. Natarajia uwekezaji ni moja ya matumizi yako. It could be that you put your fuel, you fuel your car or you pay uh, a bus fare. Si yote ni transport Yo cost. Do the, eh, ukiwekwa tu pale mirema, dio wewe. Eh, unajua tumeko kwa hile area ya do the, watu sasa hawatebei sa. And I'm told that this is the decision to not pay the cubeb was an anazo. Sijui kama ni kwedi. So, are you there now? Kopale. Is there a deficit? Nakunato fauti. I want to ask, how do you finance your deficit? Na nataka ni waulize una zishuguliki ya aje to fauti ya matumizi yako. Tell your neighbor how you finance your deficit. Uliza neighbor ako Mbiye jirani vile unavyo shugulikia mu unatimiza aji Mbiye vile unashugulikia How do you normally finance your deficit? <laughs> ok What have they said? Wamesema nini? What have they said? Wana? Wanakopa, Furiza, Tala, Branch, Mshwari, KCB, Gani ingine? Friends, unawakopa pia. Friends, you see, sometimes when you are seated in a matatu, na unaona mtu anapigiwa simu anafinya na passion baya pengine kuna kadeni anafanya nini anaitishwa mm? ana anasema niko Mombasa tutaonana na unamuona tu hapo hapa hapa zima man kwa sababu kuna jukumu fulani hajafanya nini hajatimiza madeni bana asfiwe may the lord deliver us from from death so most of us many of us tunatumia hizo zote mumezema kuweza ku do what to make our eggs I want to ask you for how long will you do that? How long? Even while about to go shule. Si kuna wengine wataenda shule kesho. Wako form 2 3 and form 4, si ndio? Ukipewa pocket money inaishaga mapema hata saa hii unataka kwenda kulipa nini? Sile pesa ulikoba ukikuja lini? Nyubani. Si ndio? Are there people who are going to campus? Kuna watu wanaenda chuoni. Na pegine you commute. So, yani umesota mpaka, hata unashaga. Hata hii kitu sponsor, hata kama tunambiwa, ni baya, ni yederea manizie. Si tumeambiwa madhara ya kuwa na watu kama hao. So, it is good to be financially free so that you are not tempted to do some things. Bana asifiwe. Now, let us go to Proverbs 29 verse 18. What does the Bible say? Gali 29. Uh, before we read some, uh, Proverbs 9, 29 verse 18, this is what I will tell you. Try as much as possible to live within your means. Nataka niwambia mjaribu uweza vyo kuishi kulingana na zile vitu mezo kanya. Live your own life. Ishi maisha yako. Wacha kuishi maisha ya jirani yako. Kwa sababu jirani yako akonayo, ata mimi ata niju. Ata nijua, ata nitabua. Ishi maisha kuligana na hile na ema mugu hamefanya nini? Hamekupatia. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kama huwezi ukaeda kwa boutique, kuna igine inaitagwa sunshine boutique. And it is so unique. Na nile tu wezi pata kuhine. Hawezi kupata mutu hamevaa kitu kama iyo. Iyo inaitagwa sunshine boutique. Bwana asifiwe. Na mutu wakikwabia dada uko smart, wacha kumwabia ni apare githurai. Bwana asifiwe. Let let us live within our I am happy about the decision she made kwe eda uishi mahali unaweza kuafford 
Bwana asifiwe. Mm. Wacha kuishi mai ati watasema nini? Watasema msichana na usiku wafanye nini? Walale. Lakini shida iko kwa nani? Kwako. Bwana asifiwe. So it is very important to know what you can. Wachana na maneno ya upa. Unaweza. Kama hujafika mahali kwa upa, kwa nini unasubua watu wa upa? <laughs> Alafu unatafuta coins mulipe eh? Unasubua mume wako Bwana asfie Unasubua msazi wako Unasubua wewe mwenyewe Kwani ukichukua hapa matatu ukifika town Pameadikwa hapa niritumia Zuri Pameadikwa Ukifo, Ukifika tu hivi pameadikwa uba Kuna mambo inatusubuaga haifai kufanya nini Kusubuka Bwana asfiwe kama laini zako unataka kushukwa unaweza kwenda mahali ushukwe na elfu kumi unaweza kushukwa hata na mia mbili wewe ndio unajua mahali pa nyanya nyanya unaweza nunua nyanya moja shilingi kumi lakini mimi najua mahali pia hiyo kumi yako inaweza kukupatia nyanya tatu yes let us deal with in our tuishi kwani hata kama huna fea nikiwa hapa zima man nikikatia hapa ni ede pale gedhurai si nitanunua vitu fresh yes. kwani kuna shida gani ati nitaonekana so what do you live for yourself or you live for people naishi kwa ajili yako ama ya watu wengine try as much as possible jaribu sana to fit within you Bishi maisha ambayo ni yako. Bwana asifiwe. Mm-hmm. So me I'm trying to finance what? Your deficit. Si hapo kuna deficit. Jaribu kushirikia. Hiyo ndio najaribu kushirikia. Ndio kusiwe na kubwa sa. Na ili si. I used to work in Apa Hill. Kwa na fanya kazi kule Apa Hill. And uh, kama una ama unaweza kuwa ukifika town kuna mahali kama restaurant ama kwa bi pale nyayo stadium si ndio? Ni ukitebea asubuhi si only need wipes si ndamjua wipes eh yes. ukinunua hata kama huna mtoto zile sahani eh, inaita kwa anana eh unaende unaweka kwa hard bag ukifika huko kwa washroom wewe unajisota hakuna mtu anaweza jua vile ulifanya nini yes. and you save ya 40 shillings yes. si ndio jioni tena hata utafika bere ya wale walipada matatu another 40 shillings umesave gapi 8 8 umeenda kasi siku ngapi kwa kwa mwezi si 22 days 22 times 40 ni, uh, times 8 ni ngapi how much is that? Eh fanya hesabu unaruhusiwa kuchukua calculator. Now this time the phone is allowed to be used in the chat. Nakubalishwa kutumia simu wakati huu. Si ku reply messages. How much is 22 times 80? 22 times 1760 every month. What is 1760 times uh, 12? 1760 times 12 ni ngapi mara 12 hmm? sa ngapi how much is that 21 2121 si ni over 21000 yes. what can 21000 do hizo zinaweza kufanyia nini si ndio yeah. si tutaweza kununua hiyo kiti tulikuwa tunaambiwa mm-hmm. si utaweza kununua jiko yako hiyo tunaambiwa just because of deciding i will cut down on this Motorbike. Si hapo bia. Kwani kabla sikuje tulikuwa tunaenda na nini? Mm. Ata a short distance. Si semi vijana wetu asikuwe na kazi, lakini saa zingine we exaggerate. Bwana asifiwe. So you use how much in the morning kwenda kwa stage na motorbike? Hata una uko na namba kadhaa ni kumuita tu niko tiari. Sikuna wengine wetu kama hao. Na ukiwa safari park unamupigia uko kwa stage. Anafanya nini? Anakuchukua. Si unalipa 50 bob. 50 bob asubuhi na 50 bob jioni. What is a hundred shillings times 30 days? This is a lot of money times the whole year. 36000 na unasema gati unakasirika mzee aje kununulia fridge na kama hutatumia motorbike uwekage kwa karimo unajua kale ka save bank unaweka hapo at the end of the year si utajinunulia kitu you can buy it you can do a lot for yourself nafanya mengi 
Now you asked at pesa iko wapi? Abia jirani pesa tu iko hapa hapa tu. Money is within us. Eh. Think about fuel. Do you if you drive? Sawa sawa. Ukienda town masai ngine unaishi kwa jia for 2 hours. Na ukirudi unaishi kwa jia fia you use a lot of fuel. What if you woke up earlier, na uede ukifika kapak, ukue na diffusion yako hapo? Mm -hmm. Utakuwa umefaidika, huta kasirika sana kwa barabara, huta hita watu majina, na madereva tafadhali tuokoke watu, na watu pia wa matatu. <laughs> sawa sawa, wasiku haribie jia, jia siku, eh? nilifika mahali nikasema nitawaokoka. Mana mi nikikunywa chai ya subui na nikisema yesu asanti kwa usiku wa leo, yeye ni wakutoa roo. Sasa tunaweza kulisho ni namna gani The same Sia naedaka kutoa lock Na wewe muna kutanaga na yesu wa subui Muna weza fikiria the same aje So usikasirike Achana na ye Achana na yeye So if you decide to go very early in the morning Kemua So you will save some sana. fuel Ama huta save Eh, hey, mimi ninasema hivi ya kwamba to finance our deficit it is that we can be able to see what can we cut down. Are there some things that we do that we can be able to do what? Kuna mambo tunafanya ambayo minimize our expenses. Naweza punguza matumizi yetu. Siwezi nikakwambia minimize hapa. Wewe die unajua. Bwana asifiwe. It is also you can decide kununua guo mo avenue. Naweza amua kununua. Si mnaja mo avenue. Yeah. Na ile street iko bere ya mo avenue ni gani Kenyatta Avenue? With the bingo. Uh, ukienda Kenyatta Avenue na Mwidi Bingu na ukuze sasa huku Moya Avenue na uode tomboya ukiedelea you will get the same dress in the same in town center kule juu kabisa na igine taveta but you will find a difference of how much 3,000 3,000 shillings Kwani are you a shareholder in that business where you go <laughs> wewe ni shareholder why do you stick at Lazima Iso Mele Bofla? Let us so barab wadada. Watch a two so babi and dada yako so barab. Tukue makini. Eh, hey, let's be sober. Tukue makini. Bana asfiwe. Amen. So, sazigine we can save only if we settle for some, hmm? class lower. Bana asfiwe. Amen. See, I'm not saying we live like paupers. I also believe in living in the Amen. grace that the Lord has given you. Lakini I know there is a lot that we can do. Kina joto na izafanya mingi. So, do we all agree to minimize our expenses? Tumekubaliana kupunguza matumizi yetu. So that we can create some money to save. Na ili tuweze kutenga pesa za kuweka. <laughs> Kwa hiyo budget yako, si yudi niambia matumizi yako. How much is your saving? Agari ya mwenza kwa liyadika saving. Uh, 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 to them saving is an expense. Because anaweka aga. Kuna mwigina nazama hata haitoshi nita save nini. <laughs> there is something you can <laughs> save. Have I told you? Naezaeka. Mimi ni mama na achiwa. Bwana asfiwe. Amen. I had the privilege of sitting in the house for some months. Bwana asfiwe. So mi na achiwa kwa achiwa pesa ni nini sasa. Uh -huh. hey, so iyo pesa unaachiwa si unaweza finya kidogo. Badara ya sasa ya kueda kununua grocery. Hapa wede pade ile ingi. Unafinya kidogo. Ama pastali zinasema apana si makosa. Watu watakura tu nyama. Lakini siyo lazima ikue imeko kwa hiyo. Hata kuna mahali gine nyama inatoka gathiri 50 kipa akiro nyama musuri sana. Na yeso mbili pia. Na siniwe unapea kwa pesa ufanye shopping. Ukienda pale bama ama somewhere. Ununue nyama ya wiki musima. Si ulipewa pesa ya mwesi yote. So you, I mean, I'm trying to say there is something you can be able Najari to do. Kuna Kila siku fanya. una save something. Yes. Or you tell yourself sita nunua credit ya miabiri kila siku. Hata hujui unatumiaga credit pesa gapi. Maana ikiisha una, eh, unanunua. Ikiisha unanunua. Ikiisha unanunua. At the end of the day, hata unaweza tumia elfu moja. Sindio? But now start becoming conscious of of your expenses.
If you send 100 shillings only 50 shillings in a day. Kando mia moja ama hamsini. 50 shillings in a month you have how much? In a month you have how much? Kwa mwezi ni ngapi? 1500. So you have 1500. Mm -hmm. 50 pop peke? In six months. Kama na You have nine? Thousand. Thousand. And you have been saying, or at a want to a kit to a auto call, Unakujaga Sayota Mugua Kusaidia Upate Pesa ya Biashara, Nani Fukumi. You only need watch a Kushokesha what you got. Night edge. Atuna Bewa, Banas Fiwe. Kuna Maboygina to Naweza Kujisaidi. Ata nae pasa obe yure mugojwa Unajua sasa ugojwa Iyo inaitaji divine intervention Do you need divine intervention To save 50 shillings per day? Do you need divine intervention To save 50 shillings per day? After that Na unaniuriza mimi sasa nitafanya nini Save 50 shillings after 6 months Fugua biyashara Weka shilingi hamsini kwa siku Bada ya mezi sita utaeza kwanzisha biyashara Sindio some of us students we say, oh, nidi malisa shule, ata sijapere kwa ata driving, ata, 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 mm, ata computer, eh? And you ha there is some money that you get. The money that you are given can also do something. Are you seated next to a young person? Pesa abaya unapewa na mzazi na wesafanya ki? Kitu. Esther, you want to give your testimony? <laughs> Can I call Esther my daughter? She surprised me. Can she say the surprise? Yes. Come. So, if you are a student, I want to believe there is also something that you can, you can do with your money. Okay, praise God. Amen. I am Esther. Yeah, I try Esther. Oh, so for me, I decided. Aliamua. Of for every day I am given the amount of money I'm given. I save first. Kwa siku kidogo kwanza. Then I use the rest. So I decided uh, from September. Uh, from, it was from October around there. Every month I Toka have a target. Kumi. Of what I want to do. I uh, I I do business, I do baking. Uh -huh. So I did my, my oven in Karibika. Uh -huh. You remind dad dad Kumbusha in baba yake. Anasa how uh -huh. <laughs> So there is a day I saved my money, I went to an electronic shop. And I got my oven. And all I needed to was call him and tell him, Niko kwa duka electronics kuju ni bebe. So you can save as little as you get. Nunaileka kidogo ambato unakipata. Of what I was told is, you when, for example, an uncle, an aunt gives you some money, Kati. don't be so quick to use it because you had not planned for Kusue it. Na sana ya and it's a surprise. So can you save it and do it something meaningful? Yes. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Show them your phone. Amen. Sour. I wanted dad to show you your phone. She surprised me. I mom. Okay, by the time she's buying, she uwa na tuambia. Kati likuwa na nua simu, likuwa na same amount. Eh, she has a phone and me, my phone is not as good as hers. Kona simu mzuri kushinda ya. She's in college. Kaip nunua. Uh, so, sikuna hile pesa unapea nanga atikila ya matatu. Kube inafinyangwa. Mbana asfue. So, ye, yeah, amejifudisha mape. Kufi. <laughs> Kwa hivi hii maneno ya kufinya inafanyaga kazi. Bwana asfiwe. So I just told her to give a testimony so that even Mbia the students can know that you can also save. Bwana asfiwe. Mm. But unaeza kusave na huuna jia. Number two, you can increase your income. Unaeza 
utafuta nje ya kuongezea mapato yako. Now I can see my time is up. Can I request for another 10 minutes or so? Naweza omba dakika 10 minutes. Can I request for another 10 kidogo. minutes? Okay. Now kwa sababu naweza kufinya, kufinya lakini hakuna kitu ya kufinya. Mm. One time I was uh, doing the work of a debt collector. Mkati I was an officer. Nilikuwa na kufanya kazi ya kuchukua kwa bank. So nikaenda kukokota uh, nikaenda kuitisha mtu pesa alikuwa amechukua mkopo. Akaniambia madam alikuwa ananiita mwalimu. Mwalimu hata ukininamisha juu na chini. Hakuna kitu. Akaniletea kalai nikafikiria anataka nina lakini haina maji. Akaniambia nipe maji kwa hii kalai. Nikamwambia haina maji. Akaniambia hivyo ndio na mimi niko. Sina hiyo pesa unaniiti? <laughs> So hata nikishide nikikwambia hapa finya pekina hakuna kitu ya kufi Wacha tuagaria how can we increase our income Naizaji ongezea mapato yetu uh, We can increase our income Naizaji ongeza mapato By probably starting an income generating activity Wanzisha njiza ambazo zinaiza tuletia pesa zaidi. And even before I come to that Kabla nikuje kwa hilo You can increase you can save more if you left some uh, uh, some crabs ukiacha kutafuta vitu kuna chama zingine hasikusaidia ngi ni kweli kuna marafiki wengine hawakusaidia ngi kuna watu ukiachana na wao on this other side kuna ongezeka pesa kwa sababu ule muda muna shida na wao you could be have been doing something more mingnifu lakini yeye anataka muoge kutoka asubui mpaka jio kwani hii ni nini tunaogea siku mzima si dio munaogea gazi sasa kutoka proti ya kwanza munaogea juu ya huyo munaeda ya piri uyule ya mepita hata munaeza ogea juu ya dege maana story si mei ikipita kwa jia there are some people ukiwaacha utafanya nini Kwa sababu hile maisha wanaishi Hawa kusaidi We must have courage to say no Lazima tuwe na usiri Wakusema ila Say no to such And identify them quickly There are some joints they tell you you go Kuna mahali ambo wanakuambia uende Sijasema ni mbaya kukunywa kofi ya java Siko tamu Na dawa yake Sini samu Sini mzuri Lakini ukiwa na rafiki kila siku Anataka muka kunywe dawa java Is that a very Fruitful friend once in a while, Nisa, Nisa, I've just given that as an example. Lakini kuna marafiki mukiwa na yeye, you spend all you are saving that you are done for a time. Do you have such friends? Wachana na na wegi na uache kuajia ya kisiri na ya heshima. Sawa sawa. So some of us we associate with people who do not add value to us. Ginene tu tuna usiana na wamoto wa usaidi. Kuna vitu zingine tu napenda kufanya. That do not also add value to us. And they take our money. Nazina chukua pesa yetu. We can decide to say no to such things. There are also times that we spend a lot of time. Kuna wakati tu natumia wakati mwingi. Tu naspend a lot of time. Tukiona vitu zigine abazo Sinaeza kuwa si thabi Lakini ya tusaidi sana Sindio Na tukienda shule How many are in school Whether in high school Campus, colleges How many of us are in school Nungapi tuko shule Inuwe ni mukono vizuri Inuwe I celebrate you In my house also There are people who are students Can I request hope to come and say something About those of us in school Please, one minute only. So we can decide because for us who are in school, see we are very lucky because to Nasikia, I wish I was in your age kuwabiwa maboka mahaya because nobody taught us. Hatu kuwabiwa mabome gidi yotuli jisome. Do you have one word for those people who are in? Na neno moja la wenye wako shule Praise God Amen Buwana sifiwe Amen To all the students Number one If you're in high school This is my advice to you Use the time that you have There Important It's very important Ni muhimu sana Don't waste it Usi upoteze muda 
Uh, I am a testimony. Kuna wakati tuliwezi kidogo and then we decided to change and that is why I made it to law school. Please use your time well. High school is the, depend, is the time that will help you know shape your future kuna watu wanasemanga ni uongo but it is true the grade you get ndio ita ita decide which university you go to and which grade you get to ndio kitaamua utaenda shule gani for high schoolers your parents are investing money in you do not you waste your parents money ipoteze sasa watutazi wako wenye tuko campus campus simple if you're in parallel if you're in the job please make sure you attend the classes and make sure you get the best result out of it kikisha ume attend watu wanasemanga kuna difference ya first class hakuna difference ya second upper na second lower i assure you there is a difference i went to look for work wanakataa kwa sababu sina first class i have a second upper but now they want first class please ensure you use your time well and maximize on your parents investment in you. Bila pesa wazazi wako wametumia kwako vizuri. Thank you. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. I'm happy that they are giving the testimony. Don't think imekuwa nyoe. Bwana asifiwe. Kama mzazi kuna wakati nimeitwa shule, but I'm glad they made a decision to do what? To change. We were told by Pastor Alex it is never so. It is never too late. You can also change. Bwana asifiwe. Why have I said we talk to the youngers? It's because uh, kama vile hope amesema ile pesa abayo I, I think I can now try Kiswahili ile pesa abayo utaanza kupata inakuwa determine na ile uh, na ile marks utafanya nini utapata ile grade utafanya nini utapata so kama wewe uko shule hata wale ambao wako university mimi nimeku, nime host watu kwangu wanaenda graduation ya mtoto wao na kube hakuna Eh? Mtoto hakusema haku? Hakuna. Sasa si wewe umesikia KU ana graduate na mtoto si unajua ako for the year. Si tumetoka mpaka huko kwetu kitale ingo bwana. Na tunataka kuiba mwana abeli ni we? Kube hakuna kitu. Hayuko kwa register. Munaniagalia na those ones of how many are in campus here? Wale wako campus. Wako wapi? Does that sound familiar? Yes, it can happen. Kwa sababu mtu hakuwa anaenda lectures, hakuwa anaingia kuna unit hakufanya. Kwa hivyo hafanyi nini? Ha graduate. So let's also as parents usikubali tu kupeanaga kuna vitu inaitagwa nini? Transcripts. Si kuna lectures hapa. Si kunazo. Ujue mtoto wako anafanya namna gani? Yaani kuna report form pia ya university urete yangwe ujue uh, i have passed proceed to the to the next year bana asifiwe so now wacha nikuje mahali tunagoja how do i make more income bana asifiwe how do i make more income tongeza mapato aje mimi niko na swali moja ninataka kukuuliza wewe saa hii ukiendelea na maisha yako vile unaendelea saa hii sawa sawa na hakuna kitu itabadilika utakuwa namna gani in five years to come usiogeze hata shiriki moja kwa mfuko yako usitafute kazi ingine uendelee na hiyo tu kazi unafanya uendelee na ile biashara unafanya yani uki maintain status kwa maisha yako itakuwa wapi miaka tano ija ijayo jiulize hiyo swali unapojiuliza si mapato yako itakuwa the same mahitaji yako yatakuwa namna gani mahitaji yako yatakuwa namna gani yatakuwa juu ama chini si yatakuwa juu sasa kuna kitu nataka unifanyie there is a slide there written uh, me in five years Sawa sawa. Ninataka uniambie mahitaji yale utakuwa nayo miaka tano ijayo ni gani kutoka leo? For example, kama niko na mtoto ako class 5, in 4 uh, class 3, in 5 years atakuwa class 8 na atakuwa naenda form 1. Kwa hivyo nitakuwa nahitaji ya kupeleka mtoto wapi? Form 1. In five years to come, yule mtoto ako class 18 mwaka, atakuwa memaliza form 4, atakuwa naigia wapi? University. 
university nitalipa nini kalo ya university na kalo ya university haitoshani na nini na ya high school university inalipwa kutoka pesa ngapi mimi najua kuna walimu wa university hapa wanaweza kutuambia ni ngapi the cheapest per semester wanafunzi tunalipa ngapi 70 and above their courses we even pay 200 ndio so mahitaji yako itakuwa namna gani are you able to project your mahitaji yako kama uko na kijana sawa sawa abaya ako class 4 in 5 years time ama wacha hata for 3 class 3 in 5 years time atatairi mnajua hivyo atakaa wapi hiyo tu nyumba mnaishi kama naogea baya ninasema vibaya some of us in 10 years time tutakuwa tumeritaya what shall we be doing tutakuwa tunafanya nini kutoka asubuhi mpaka jio so can we see me in 5 years there is a small right there that can help us to plan i believe they will put it up but before they put it up can you just write mahitaji yako in 5 years just try to think what are your plans not that one uko bele nyuma kidogo yes adika mahitaji yako miaka 5 ijayo hiyo ndio tunaenda hapo hiyo ni ya ku plan sasa nataka kusikia mahitaji yako in 5 years or even 10 years depending even in one year kama uko na mna Hata kama umebeba miba saai Si unajua in a few months utahitaji uh, Utahitaji house girl Si utahitaji kukaa uh, Utahitaji kweda hospital Bwana asifue wa dada Bwana asifue Na ni kwa nini tunafanyaga kama kuzani very uh -huh, emergency Si tuanze kuplan Ukipitia pale gedhurai chukua tuguo tu socks tutatu tuine weka Si ukifika mahali utaosha na Na jik na uoshe na deto na star soft Alafu uko tiyali Bwana asfiwe Unanunua bag mapema eh? Unajua wakati wetu tulikuwa tunalalua mareso <laughs> Tunaperekea mtu yule haku jipanga Siku hizi hakuna Sawa sawa So tunajipanga mapema So I'm asking you What are your needs in in that time I said we read uh, I said we read Proverbs 29 verse 18 The Bible says Where there is no vision People perish Mapasipo maono watu wanafanya nini Wanaangamia Kwa hivyo nigetaka uwe na maono Miakatano ijao nitakuwa na maita Nitakuwa nafanya nini Utafanya nini diyo uweze kufanya kitu Abayo huwezi kufanya Let's go to that slide that is on uh, Number 85 Si una mahitaji ya miakatano ijayo Umejua unafaa kulipa school fees Unajua unafaa kuwa unaritaya You want some more money hauna ya kutosha What can you do? Number one You can be able to identify the potential in you Dani yako kuna utele Bwana asfiwe In you there is a lot of potential Niki kuangalia hivi ninaona utele dani ya a strong deposit in you but how do we get it out number one what is your experience begine umefanya kazi mahali kunafanywa baking kwa hivyo wewe unajua nini baking bwana asfiwe what is your experience yale mambo abayo umeweza kuyafanya you can get a business idea from your experience you can also get a business idea from your education what have you been trained to do mimi nimetrainiwa kama accountant na nimetrainiwa kama accountant kwa hivyo sina mahali ya kufanya account lakini nikiangalia kuna mabiashara wengi mnyingi hasiwezi kwa jiri accountant kwa hivyo naweza kwenda kuoffer my services as an accountant nawaambia mimi kazi yangu ni kuweka vitabu na wananipatia receipt zao na vitu zao zote na wategenezea accounts si mwezi watu wanafanya tax return Si utapata biashara ya wale watu wengi hawa hawajui vile inafa inafanywa. Pengine mimi ni mwalimu. 
na uzuri wa walimu wengi hawafundishia kibali sana na kule wanaishi kwa hivyo unafikaga bere ya wale wazazi wengine shida ya wazazi hapa Nairobi ni kuwa hawana time ya wazazi, watoto kufanya nini homework kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa una, una hao watoto wanakuja kwako kufanyiwa tuition ya kufanya tu homework ama ni nini natusubuaga wasasi wa Nairobi si ni watoto wafanye homework na kila mtoto akifanya homework anabeba shiriki miangapi wao wa wanaitaga tuition lakini we mnapitaga ile wamesoma hiyo si hiyo siku hiyo ni ngumu ukiwa na watoto watano kila mtoto miambili hiyo ni pesa gapi jioni si enelfu moja si niliwambia tuko na utele i have a lady friend of mine she has rented a big house with a big sitting room because that is what she do inaita kwa side hustle that is her side hustle she realized so many parents in nairobi hawana time ya watoto kufanya nini homework so yeye yeah, anafikanga mapema wanafanya na wanasidikisha saa moja wamefika nyumba nyumbani so there is a lot that you can do that is ex ex education what is your area of expertise sawa sawa probably you are an expert in something like the way uh, esther has said she said i want to go and learn how to do cakes probably you are a very good person as far as cakes is concerned bwana asfiwe kama tumekula ya birthday nani amesema hatuwezi nunua za breakfast kesho tukienda and you are a baker bwana asfiwe there is a lot you can do ama pegine ukipika chapati sikukiwa na occasion nyumbani ama wherever ni wewe na biagwa upike chapo si you can do that then for man si you can watu wanataka kupika chapati lakini hawana ta hawana time wewe unawapikia chapati na wanakulipa bwana asifiwe kuna biashara mingi bwana asifiwe watu hawana time hata ya kwenda soko si ujue huyu nyanya zake ni samade ujue kila mtu nyanya zake anahitajiki za pesa gapi kila wiki ivitungu na vitu kama hizo you deliver to their houses Bwana asifiwe. Eh hey, lakini vile ninyi na waangalia ate nitabeba namna gani nionekane. Eh? It's only that it did not work. I wanted you to see me in the shop. Bwana asifiwe. Those ladies can tell you Pastor Millicent has seen me there. Bwana asifiwe. Siku wangu hivi na kwanga nimefunga vitu nyingi kwa sababu sasa ninataka siku kama ya leo nikisimama mbele yenu nikubalike. <laughs> na pia eh lakini nikiwa huko mimi siogopi uchafu ukiogopa uchafu ni shi utakufa maskini usiogope nini probably you have a lad at home eh na hujui ufanye nini hata mnakosanaga na watu huko nyumbani let them use the lad because sisi wewe umekataa kutumia ukapada miti leo peke yake kuna kitu isipokuwa ni mungu anyeshe mvua kuna kitu unavyofaa kufanyia miti ukapata miti leo in 10 years si tumesema in 10 years mtoto anaenda shule ukue na miti mia moja. si utakata tu 20 upeleke shule na wewe unasemaga hakuna kitu ya kufanyia nini shaba si bado kuna nyesha vitu zingine si tunaweza fanya Eh hey, there is a lot that we can do. So what is that uh, thing that you have? Probably that is not your area. Probably you have a test. Wewe ni mtu wa nini? Test. Sawa sawa. You can have a side hustle. I will uh, the current uh, consultancy work I'm doing I'm training some uh, a microfinance so in one of the evenings we held a meeting with one of the people there now can you be I'm wondering about a side hustle and we discover she has taste but as we do you know you can live here in the, on Saturday on Friday whether you know be the Azako na Saturday you are back na Monday uko kazini eh na uko na watu wa kuuzia we unaona kama bisho uh, pastor Harris ukimletea guo mzuri anaweza kataa kununua na mimi na huyo mwingine mumekaa na yeye lakini wewe ukiingia tu kwa ba, kwa matatu ni kulala tu mpaka unaenda na unaru abia bwana akupe doto bwana asifiwe Deuteronomy 8:18 the bible says it is god who give us power to make wealth Bwana asifiwe. Abi 
Nikwambia Bwana akupe idea. Let it drop in your mind. When you are driving somewhere. Amen. Uh, like for us the business hiyo ya 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 hizo hmm? chakula we were driving with my husband from Kitale. Unajua ni safari murefu. The idea of uh, animal feed dropped in our mind on our way. Bwana asifiwe. That is why I'm telling you the God can speak to. So what is your experience? What are your abilities? So your experience can help you expertise you are an expert in something your exposure begine ulifanyaga muhindi kazi na kuna mambo uliexposiwa yenye sio watu wengi wana wanajua whatever you are exposed to you can be able to do it and you can turn that exposure to a business idea if not that there is something i call gti analysis what is gti g starts for gifts Nikipawa gani Mungu amekupatia? What gift do you have? Like many singers. Kama waimbaji. Wale wengi wanaimba, si wamejua ki uh, wako na gift na talent ya kuimba. Kwa hivyo they have turned their gift into a business idea. Wanaiba na wanauza kada zao. So what gift is in you? Na nimesema gift hata pengine nikupika chapati. Uh, pegine you are an interior designer na hujui lakini like how do you know you can be a good interior designer ukienda kwa mtu unaonaga sasa hii kati inameweka ya yero na, na, na ukuta ni wa green sea match na ye hana hata haoni si ndio i have a friend of mine anakujaga kwako anakwambia can we change curtains anakutegenezea sawa sawa and that is how she does she has never gone to any school she. but i'm saying you there are some gifts in you kuna kitu ambayo unaiona ikiwa ni rahisi kuna watu wako na compound na hawajui vile wataifanya kama mungu amekubariki na kitu kama hiyo si you convert it to a business idea there is a lot that you can do what are your abilities Bwana asifiwe. Abilities ni zile nguvu abazo umepewa abazo hasiwezi hasina watu we hasina watu wengi. Pegine unapika chakula tamu sana. Si unaweza anza outside catering. Kama watu wanasemaga chakula yako ni tamu kwa nyumba, kwani ukipelekea huko nje utabadilisha upishi? Na tunasema hatujui biasha nitafanya namna gani but what do we need we only need to identify what is the potential that you have and you are able to do a business bwana asifiwe uliza jirani yako kuna kitu imekuja kwa mind ama bado is there anything nyingi sana so let us do something now there are some of us who are in the office sawa sawa wengine sio biashara wengine tuko kwa ofisi are you looking for promotion do you want to be unajua ukipromotiwa ni kusema you get more money lakini kuna watu tu watu wa kuchelewa wakiadikwa wakiagaliwa ni wewe kwenu tu ndio kuna kuaga jamu unajua nakaa dhika road utasema hivyo mpaka siku gani eh is there any way how do you package yourself for promotion amen i have been a career lady for many years and i'm asking you how do you package yourself to be promoted number one can you at least be punctual mahali aka at least ukienda kasi usio wewe saa yote una late do a special course Mm -hmm. eh, take advantage see companies as again want to introduce a new product mm -hmm. kitu mugeni eh, you can uh, you can decide you will do a special course a bio itakupatia nafasi to take uh, you will have an advantage over all the all the rest sawa sawa so it is not how long you have stayed in that company people are promoted because there is something they can offer do you need to go back to school hmm? pegine ulifanya tu certificate hata ni vile tu md anakujua akatoka wewe ndio wa kwanza kutolewa pale maana karatasi ni mo peke yake please add another paper to your cv 
Sawa sawa. Go to school, do a diploma, do a degree. If you've done a degree, do a master's. If you've done master's, do PhD. Sindio. So adding, uh, you always have to better yourself. Kayo kijifanya mzuri zaidi. Uh, some of us is going an extra mile. What does a, a supervisor look for when they want to promote people? Anangalia mutu wabaye anaweza kweda an extra mile. Sio sayote ukipewa extra waku na complain. It is not in my JD. Hii naigiria wapi? Extra work will always you earn you promotion. Eh, hey, na ujipea kazi zingine. One time there is a department I headed. Maana nilijipea hiyo kazi. Ukiona kuna nafasi, jasa hiyo pe. Jasa hiyo pego. That is the way to be promoted. Bwana asifiwe. I know promotion does not come from east or west. It comes from the Lakini lazima na sisi tujiweke hapo dio tufanye nini? Tukue promoted. I'm almost closing. Uh, then I will also say something. If what you are doing, if ukienda kasi una, eh, ukihesabu hile fea unalipa kuenda, ya na ya kuruti, na hile lunch unakuraga, lakini in savings unaweza beba garanj, badala ya kununuanga. That's another money you can save. Then you find the job you are doing does not make any economic sense. Hmm? Yani, you just go kwa sababu hawezi kushida wapi kwa nyumba lakini it is not helping you in any in any way anza kuuliza Mungu eh akupatie kisima ingine eh anza kuuliza Mungu mwambie hii sasa hii ime imekauka Eh, ni vizuri kujua dalili za kizima ikikauka mahali huko. Usiendelee kuchota pale na hakuna ki na hakuna kitu. Abia Bwana akusaidie. Some of us our promotion is not where we are working. It is in another organization. Mm. Keep your ears open. Wachaga kufanya kama you are uh, yeah, I know you are permanent and pensionable. Lakini who said you cannot go to work for someone else? Some of us it may be time to do what? To leave, but don't leave until you know where you are going. Bwana asfiwe. Some of us, one day I looked at a man who lost me near where we, we are, I do business. Uyo mtu, nikiangaria hiyo gunia, kuna wakati anakuaga na gunia tatu. Lakini sana sana anausaga gapi? Gunia moja ya mahindi, ya inaiza kuwa na mahindi gapi hile kumbwa? Hakuna watu wa green grocery hapa? Inaweza kuwa na maidi kama ngapi? Around 100 mescom, si ndio? Kama 100. Sasa hapo anauzia watu maindi moja uh, ni 30 ama 40 30 40 bob. Maindi yo maana nusu ni 20. Sawa sawa, nusu ya nusu ni 10. Okay. Hiyo maindi amenunua pesa ngapi? Maidi moja between 10 and 15. Yani, diyo ifike pare, imefika na? Na 15, number 20. Na 15. Sawa, sawa. Mupatie jiko maka, na kila kitu kuchoma na kureta. 20 shillings pa? Mezcom. Anauza gunia ngapi? Bidi. Kwa hivyo, gunia moja iko na maindi mea moja. Apate 20 shillings pa maize. Kom. Ni pesa ngapi? Ha? Ha? 2000. 2000. Aha, na kiuza gunia biri? Na wewe unajitaga kalani wa wapi? What is your income pa? What is his income? Four times, hata sade na muonaga. So, hata wacha tumpatie 3000. Sawa sawa. 3000 times 30 days, ni pesa ngapi? 90? Na ukipita si unamudharao? Let me tell you, money is there. Ni tuabia mungu katika kama Deuteronomy 8, 18. Give me power to make wealth. It is there. Now, for the people who have the money, where can I invest? You can invest in a business. Sawa, sawa. 
you can invest in a business, but uh, don't invest a lot of money in a business that you do not know. Uh, it is good to do your due diligence. Kabla ufugwe biashara ni vizuri kuju. Kujua, usiwe kama dada mwingine rafiki yangu Alisikia kuna maindi na uso wa Tanzania Na ikiretu wa Kenya, kila gunia inakuatia elufu moja miangapi Haka kibia uko, elufu miatatu Haka nunua, kufika boda, kuna makaratasi ya uliuliswa Yeye hajui kama kuna makaratasi kama hii So maidi yake ikafanya nini? Ikashikwa Iliposhikwa kukanyesha usiku Ikafanya nini? Hata hajui mtu akireta maindi haedagi na ile gari ya bayo imefunguriwa Anaedaga na e, Because amekaa huko sana hajapata gari yote ya kumbebea Hii mepatikana akakuja na Sasa maindi ikinyeshewa kuna edaga aji Sinaoza Sasa by the time ilikuwa inafika huku Hata wale wanategeneza jakura kama mimi Hatuwezi nunua maindi kama iyo So that is investing in a business she does not understand. Understand a business before you put your money there. Number two, farming activities. Unaeza ku invest, you can rent a farm. Ufanye your green, your agri business there. Or you can do cash crops. Wewe dio unajua vile unaeza kufanya. I want by a show of hard. Watu wangapi wakona shamba ushago? Ushago mko na kashaba maali Mi sija ulisa ni ya ikangapi Ni meulisa tu kama hiko Eh kama Hata kama hamujagawi ya trees kuna maali Unajua muna ezalima You can turn that to be A business idea You can do something on that farm And it is income generating You can also put your money In real estate You na eza nunua plot Na plot ni mzuri maana they increase But there is something I will tell you about Kenyans Kenyans wanabu Ah kuna shaba na hapo tu Na hapo tu katani Kama saa hii ile maguta maguta Unasikia kakitu kama hiyo Plot maguta magu Eh wala hawaerewi atini kama mafuta mafuta mzuri We never ask where is the title We don't ask the ownership So you can be conned So it is good to know ukinunua plot Ama ukinunua shaba Ama whatever you want to buy Or ni a property Ya kwamba ikona hile makaratasi ina Inafa Na ujifanyie wewe mwenyewe Sisi kuizi hata searches tunafanya online Hata magali Kuna watu wanausi yangu wa magali na hakuna Na haku jishugurisha kuangalia So any time you are buying something It is good to know Makaratasi hiko na mnagani Kuna boards and treasury bills Bwana asfiwe Kama sasa tulisomewa budget ya Kenya Sawa sawa Are we able to Is the government able to finance all the budget? Itatoa pesa wapi? The government borrows from the domestic market. Kwa hivyo, you can buy bonds. Bwana asfiwe. So, those are sure investment. Badara ya, unajua kuna watu pia nao wakona, they have no risk appetite. Eh? Unajua risk appetite. Kuna wegine yao ni saidi. Wewe, saidi si mzuri. But if you can buy those bonds, you can buy also treasury bills. Bond is for a long time. Treasury bills are for a short, for a short period. Kwa hivyo ukinunua, badala ya kueka tu pesa sako mahali unaeza kushikaga every other time. Even in banks you can get a fixed deposit. Sawa sawa. Utaani pesa kidogo, lakini itakusaidia. Especially, kama kuna pesa ninaweka, diyo nifanya kitu ingine na staki kui. Kuitumia, you can put it there It will earn you something small Na pia itakusaidia uyekewe vizu Vizuri Badare ya kupereka pyramid Minajua kuna so many pyramids In form of housing companies Before uziwe nyumba Tunajega huku Unaona huko? Iso nyumba kama iso tunajega Kwa nini unataka kujegewa Siu nunue protu jenge? Na diyo saigine tunaigizwa kwa shida So We also have shares in the companies That risk 
sawa sawa unaweza nunua share za za mabanki unaweza nunua share za safaricom lakini pia kwa sababu wewe sio expert ni vizuri kutafuta mtu who is a good age agent ndio aweze kukuambia zile zinaendelea vizuri usinunue share za company leo na kesho usikie imeenda chini sawa sawa hatuna nafasi ya kuanza kukueleza kile unaangalia lakini at least ni kitu inafanya bia, i mean fai it is a concern that is making money bana asfiwe na hauko kote ni mahali tunaweza kuinvest pesa zetu sawa sawa so there is a lot that we can do with our money and finally finally let us honor god with our hair wealth when god will have blessed us sawa sawa si kuna watu hapa pengine kitu imezaliwa moyo wako si umesema kutoka leo hakuna kukula lunch ya yule mama pale ya mia nitakuwa na beba yangu hiyo mia naweka kutoka leo by the end of the year utakuwa na pesa ya kuanza biashara when the lord will have blessed you sawa sawa don't beat your chest and say it is the labor of my hands proverbs 3 and verse 9 the bible commands us to honor god with our wealth bwana asifiwe let us honor god with our wealth let us serve god with our money pesa yetu tusiwe ni yetu maana ni yeye ametupatia uwezo ya kuipata tusije tukaingiwa na kiburi na tuseme ni vile naamka mapema ni vile niko na mawazo mazuri i am a genius i want to tell you there are people with a better brain than you kuna watu wanafanyaga kazi na nguvu kuliko wewe na hawana ile uko nayo it is god who has given us that money let us honor god with our money bwana asifiwe let us honor god uh, proverbs 3 verse 9 and hagai 2 and verse 8 the bible says that all silver and gold belongs to who him all silver and gold belongs to who to god, to god. kama silver yote ni ya mungu wewe unahitaji yote do you need all of it you only need kidogo si ndio let us ask the lord who have the silver and, and gold i did not get time to give you a lot of my testimony when i have had the lord telling me do this one na ninaifanya na mungu anaibariki bwana asifiwe when i was working I would be called for a meeting na ninaamini the holy spirit of god to put something in my heart nikienda kwa hiyo mkutano nipate kibali bwana asifiwe and i know the lord is able to do it amen kwa hivyo i want to add on this note and tell you let us honor god with our uh, with our substance proverbs 3 verse 9 mm -hmm. Proverbs 3 fast 9 It's on the screen. Oh. Honor God with everything that you own. Give him the first and the best. I think I like that fashion. Give him the first This is the first fruit when the Lord will have blessed us let us honor God amen honoring God is also honoring the the, the, the need in our midst let the Lord bless us so that we can be a blessing to the other to the other people as i come to a close i want to do a very short summary number one, who are you who are you number two, what are your sources of income can you increase your sources of income what are your expenses can you reduce your expenses man number four, what how is your life in five years na maisha yako baada ya miaka mitano itakuwaje what will be your needs mahitaji yako yatakuwa what do you need to do tahitaji kufanya nini what vision do you have for your future ya maisha yako where are you going naelekea wapi don't only ask someone where are you taking me you yourself where are you going where are you going wapi wewe mwenyewe ujue unaenda where are you going wapi wewe and my uh, and if you are employed what are you doing to package yourself ili kujiweka pamoja vizuri so that you can be able to be promoted ili ukaweze kupandishwa cheo let's create time for extra things tutenge tutenge mtu wa mabodi to wake up very early in the morning tuita tuamke mapema to make a party so that we can carry and, and, uh, and sell where we work 
to work on a proposal very early in the morning so that you can be able to give someone could be that is how see there are so many people who are in school and they are not able to do their work that may be what you want to do whatever you need to do you need to create time for it and finally let us honor God with our substance can we lie up on our feet Today I want us to pray. I want to pray with someone here. Deuteronomy 8:18. It is God who gives us power to make wealth. You are telling God. God, these are the only sources of income. But I'm trusting in you. That as that lady who was visited by the servant of God whose children were almost being sold because of the death that the husband died in kings and uh, uh, when the servant of the Lord Elisha went there she was asked what do you have? And she was told to go and borrow empty vessels in the neighborhood. She went and borrowed and borrowed and borrowed. Akaomba mitungi na akaomba na akayoba yo mitungi. Mutumishi wa mungu akamuambia. Sasa anza kujaza. Akajaza mitungi, akajaza, akajaza. Akaambiwa sasa eda uuse yo mafuta ulipe deni na uweze kuishi kwa yo yo. Mm -hmm. Siku ya leo nataka kuoba na wewe mahali hapa Uko mahali hapa Na umefinywa na mabo You are wondering what to do My prayer is this That a trial, an idea will drop in your mind In your mind utapata kitu ya kufanya Kama yule mama alikonfatiwa Kutoka mjane mwenye hakuwa na kitu Na kansa biashara ya mafuta Kwa sababu mutumishi wa mungu alikuwa mahali pale siku ya leo mungu wako mahali hapa and it is us who want us to prosper in his kingdom so that we can have enough tuwe na yetu na pia na ya kuweza kusupport kazi ya mungu wana asifiwe are you here and you are telling the lord give me another idea kuhapa nunawambia mungu wa kupatia give me something kupatia kitu kitu isalike dani yako father in the name of jesus baba katika jina la yesu Baba katika jina la Yesu tasama kuna wadada wameinua mikono yao siku ya leo. Wanasema ya kwamba katika didio no me 818. Ya kwamba ni wewe unatupatia. Uweza wakutegeneza utajini. Katika jina la Yesu. Ninaoba sahi. Kue na wazo katika mawazo yao. You drop an idea. A super national idea. Bwana uweze kukutana na wao. Katika jina la Yesu. Kuna wazo wale wanasikia ni kama wamefika mwisho ata mwezi ya ujafika katikati na hakuna mapato katika jina la yesu wewe abaya unaweza kutusaidia uweze kutusaidia siku ya leo those of us who are lazy help us oh jehovah to be diligent those of us oh my father who are sluggish help us oh my father those of us who need money release that money to us oh jehovah release sources of money in our lives release them oh Jehovah we are waiting we are waiting on you everlasting father so that you can expand us everlasting God you have said in your word that you own cattle on a thousand hills we know that everything belongs to you we pray this day that you will uh, honor your word this afternoon and give us something everlasting God thank you for the businesses ideas that have come to these sisters I declare my father they shall do them and they shall succeed. Just as the woman of the Bible, that widow who was given oil, she sold and she paid her debt. Those of us who have debt, they are going to be paid. Those of us who are in want, they shall find uh, uh, supply in you. Kwa sababu umesema, you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. We believe your word and we trust you. For this we pray Pray in Jesus' name. And the church say, Amen. God bless you. Amen.